So, I thought I'd go ahead and make a little video here. As I said in a previous video, um, I'm looking into trying to get uh, another amplifier, guitar amp. I got my Lainis so far, well, and a little Marshall stack. Uh, well, that's a transistor uh, MG micro stack. Uh, anyway, um, it could be cool to try to get uh, some other sound than my Lainis. Uh, they have six little six tubes in there, and the Laney Iron Heart is actually. Um, it's possible to put in some EL34s in there. Um, but then then again, you know, um, the cost of new tubes, uh, I mean, there is a bunch of different ones. If, if I'm thinking about EL34s, I mean, there is uh, three, four, five different types of brands. Um, I'm not really sure which ones sounds the best. And I mean, uh, buying four or five of those is around a couple of hundred bucks or so I mean it's kind of expensive so I'm looking into buying um, a new amp uh, with uh, EL34s in it already because I think that EL34s have more uh, I think that they they give a totally different sound than than the 606 tubes in the power section so I really think that EL34s, that's, that's what you should go for. Um, I've been thinking about what type of amp could I possibly buy. I mean, there is the, <coughs> the branded ones out there. I'm thinking about Randall, thinking about Marshall, Laney, Mesa, uh, <coughs> Vox. Uh, Hugs and Kettner, Hugs and Kettner, uh, the Tube Meister 36, I think is a cool looking amp and sounds awesome. Uh, the dual rectifier or the triple rectifier, but I mean, we're talking about three, three thousand bucks, I mean, for an amp uh, when you're looking at the uh, dual rectifier or the triple rectifier, is even more expensive. <coughs> I think you actually can get the single rectifier for somewhere around 1500 bucks or so, 1800 bucks, maybe, I think maybe somewhere around there. Uh, I also seen some <coughs> more odd amps, uh, well, uh, hand built uh, boutique amps. Uh, I'm talking about the uh, alien amplification. Uh, Alien actually hand built in Brazil. They <clears throat> they hand build many different types of amps. They have one amp that I'm very interested in. Uh, it's called Evolution. Uh, available in 50 watts or 100 watts version. Um, <clears throat> looks great. Sounds awesome. High gain distortion. All that kind of shit. Um, <clears throat> so it's not uh, really very expensive either. I think somewhere around two thousand bucks for the for the hundred watt version, and I think somewhere around uh, twelve fifty to fourteen hundred bucks for the fifty watt version. <clears throat> so I really think that the fifty watt. I mean, fifty watt is enough. Uh, for using it with a 412 cabinet, I mean, you don't really use more than 50 watt anyway. Uh, I can't see, I cannot see when and where I would use more than 50 watt. I mean, <coughs> I, I cannot see that. I cannot see where I could use more than 50 watt. So, most of the time, I think 50 watts is more than enough for anyone. Even live gigs, I mean, you put um, <coughs> you put a Sennheiser in front of the cabinet or a SM57 or something like that, and voila, you got the sound out there anyway. So, 
there is also uh, a brand called Driftwood. Yeah. <coughs> Driftwood. Yeah. Uh, Drift Driftwood Nightmare. That's uh, an amp model. It's hand built. Uh, but now again we are talking prices prices up uh, until 2500 3000 bucks or so that's no no possibility for me so these rare ones uh, the alien evolution it, that's a very interesting amp because it's cool looking you can actually check on YouTube and see what type of amp it is it sounds awesome and looks awesome I think it's a great build so Maybe that could be something, but at the end of the day, I mean, Brazil, yeah, of course, that's cool, but, you know, uh, shipping and all that kind of stuff, I mean, prices will go up, uh, I mean, the total price will be a lot more, so I don't really know what could be the best. I'm looking for an amp with uh, high gain distortion in there, so I can have something to... I mean, the idea of a lot of stomp boxes is not a great idea. I, I think it could be cool to have an amp, amp with uh, a great distortion in there. That's when I'm thinking about the old school Marshalls. Well, not old school, but you know, the, the ones that came out maybe 15 years ago. There was actually a model called... Uh, JCM 2000 with two lead channels in there uh, and uh, EL34s very very good distortion in that in, in that uh, amplifier I think you can buy these ones uh, used today for like six seven hundred bucks or so eight nine hundred bucks <coughs> So, um, that could be a possibility because Marshall is great stuff. I mean, that's awesome stuff. Um, there is exactly the same Marshall out there today, but the new name for it is uh, actually DSL100H. That's almost pretty much the same as a JCM2000. Um, I am pretty sure that maybe the JSM 2000 sounds a little more old school than the today's uh, Marshall DSL 100H. But the Marshall DSL 100H is actually something that I could possibly get. <coughs> I think that that's the type of amp that I could possibly be looking for. Uh, I think uh, one of these amps today, the, by the way, the JCM2000 uh, also was named the DSL. So, <clears throat> uh, dual super lead, by the way. So, the new DSL, I think they are about... 12, 1300 bucks or so, 1200 to 300 bucks. Uh, that's, that's pretty much the lowest price you would expect to get from Marshall for an all tube amp. Uh, <coughs> the DSL 100H is actually uh, the cheapest 100 watt uh, Marshall head. When it comes to all tube amp, of course you got the MG series, but hey, that's nothing to compare. You know that's uh, that's nothing to compare with the uh, tube tube heads. So I'm thinking about actually about uh, Marshall could be some great stuff. Uh, even though you got the Randall um, Randall got a model called RT100, I think it is all tube amp. Um, I think they use 6 l 6 tubes in the power section of that amp, so that could be kind of like the same thing that my lane is. That wouldn't be very cool. Uh, I'm pretty sure that they have a BS section that allow even that amp to run EL34s uh, in the power section, so 
I think that could be a possibility. I think the Randall RT100 actually is in exactly the same price range as the Marshall DSL, DSL100H and also along with the Laney Ironheart uh, 120 h Th Those three are actually in the same price range, almost identical price. So that could actually be something. And uh, I actually know that there is some other amps too, but not very interesting for me. Uh, in those three, I think the Marshall is the most interesting amp. Because I used to have Marshalls back in the days. Uh, I had JCM 800, I had a JCM 900. I never had a JCM 2000 though. Uh, I had uh, an old Plexi that was, I think it was from the late 70s, m yeah, mid 70s maybe. Uh, that amp was actually totally trashed. I mean, the Tolex on, on, the, on the cabinet, the cabinet head, was all ripped off. Uh, you know, it was total mess. It looked like shit. So, but it works great. It needed new tubes and all that kind of stuff. I used it for a couple of years. I swapped it uh, for, um, I traded it for a car, I remember, yeah. I traded it for a 2005, 3000 bucks car, I think it was. So that amp was very expensive back in the days even. So we are talking in the 90s now. So, but the JCM 800, that would be the 2203 model, I think, yeah, 2203 model. Uh, that's a, a great amp, but you would need a stomp box to get a real metal sound out of that. So, that's why I'm thinking about the Marshall again, uh, because uh, Laney is kind of cool, but it seems like I want to try something else. Uh, it feels like... You would easily go bored when using a Laney. I, I'm kind of ashamed to tell you this, but the Laney Iron House sounds awesome, but uh, it looks awesome as well, but it's kind of like... I don't know how to explain it, but it's kind of like... Uh, yeah, you, you'll get bored after a while. Uh, so, I don't know. I don't know. I will keep my lanes, but I will try try something different. So, what do you think? What what do you think I should go with when you're talking a price range about uh, 13, 1400 bucks or so? I mean, what's the best buy? We are talking at least 50 watts here. So, Marshall, Randall, hmm. I'd say the Marshall. I'd say the Marshall, of course. Uh, but, well, time will tell. I have something going on here, so it's just a matter of time. In the next few couple of days, I think maybe I know which way I should go. Uh, so, yeah. That's my thoughts about all this kind of stuff. Of course, I could build my own amp. That's something I been thinking about for the last couple of years or so. I mean building a Soldano SLO 100 clone for example. That's an awesome amp. I mean there is a uh, a high gain amplifier uh, it's a two channel amp with two with two uh, distortion, uh, distortion uh, section in there. Uh, but that's kind of expensive too, because I think uh, SLO, one, uh, SLO 100, I actually think it's somewhere around 3,500 bucks. Uh, that's kind of, that's kind of very expensive. N we are talking a real SLO 100, of course. A clone, you could buy a kit for maybe... I'd say 
twelve thirteen hundred bucks that's plus shipping that includes everything chassis um, the well everything so but that's a lot of money too you know so with shipping that's maybe around fifteen hundred bucks and I mean that's a lot of cash um, and of course spending a couple of weeks building the damn thing well that's the fun part building stuff I love building stuff you know but uh, there is some other clone uh, clone amps as well you got the 18 watt Marshall plexi clone 18 watts is that's too small for me I mean I, I need 50 watt I believe so um, it's kind of expensive I mean buying the Marshall DSL 100 uh, it's cheap I mean 13 1400 bucks that's cheap for a Marshall uh, you got a um, Marshall is a great brand as I said they've been around for uh, since the mid 60s so yeah I think that's the way to go but anyway uh, I will time will tell uh, I will need a couple of days to think more about this so I know kind of like in which direction I should go uh, but one thing's for sure I will I will have to need I, I need a, a new amp because I need to yeah, I need to kind of like see what's out there. See, I mean, Marshall, EL34s, Randall, Laney, I don't know. Um, I will see.